In this Unit 1 tutorial, we are going to look at how to solve linear equations that involve fractions, simplifying square roots, and those type of situations. So the first problem is up here on the board. Now, I would encourage you to try this out, hit pause on the video, and see if you solve it correctly. And then if not, you can follow through. Or perhaps you'd prefer to listen from start to finish. When we did a problem like this in class, the very first thing that we did was we distributed and got rid of the parentheses. You have to do that first. Now when you distribute, multiply the numerators together. 3 times 1 is just 3. Multiply the denominators together. 4 times 2 is simply 8, so that's 3 eighths. Then when we take 3 fourths times 3x, if there is no denominator, the denominator is really just 1. So up in the numerator, 3 times 3x is going to be 9x. In the denominator, 4 times 1 is 4. Don't overlook the negative sign or the subtraction in between. And then that's going to be equal to, and we just leave the right-hand side alone. We didn't do anything with that yet. 5 sixths x minus 3. Next up, we would like to get rid of those fractions. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by a number that's divisible by 8, divisible by 4, and divisible by 6. In this case, if 8 divides the number, 4 will also divide the number. So we're looking for a number that's divisible by both 8 and 6. 48 would work. If you chose 48, that's awesome. You could work the problem out and you would be fine. But there is a smaller number that works. And it's easiest on us if we go with that least common multiple. In this case, that number is 24. 24 divided by 8 is 3. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. But now we have to distribute. Be careful. 24 times 3 eighths. Now you could just type that in your calculator. But remember, try to be as mentally fluid with math as possible. Divide first. 24 divided by 8 is 3. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Keep the subtraction. 24 divided by 4 is 6, and 9 times 6 is 54. So this is going to be a minus 54x. On the right-hand side, we have to distribute the 24 as well. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20, so that will be a 20x. And 24 times a negative 3 is going to be negative 72. Now we want x's on one side and numbers on the other side. So at the next step, I want to get the negative 54x off the left hand side. Personally, I like the number in front of x to be positive, so we will add that 54x to both sides. On the left hand side we have 9, equals 74x minus 72. We will then add the 72 to both sides. Again, I said you do not absolutely need to show that. I'm just making sure everybody watching this video is able to follow along. 9 plus 72, either do that mentally, which hopefully isn't that bad, or have your calculator along to help. We'll get 81 is equal to on the right hand side we have 74x. So when we go to polish that off, we're going to want to divide both sides by 74 to get the x by itself. Divide by 74. And we get that x is equal to 81 over 74. Now before we finalize that answer, and I'm going to come back up here to the top, we have x is equal to 81 over 74. I am going to box it in temporarily, but there's a couple things we have to do. We want to check and see if that's simplified. 
Answers should be in simplified improper fraction form. So let's go to our calculator. We'll have it pop up on the screen here. This is how the TI-84 and TI-83 would work. We're going to type 81 divided by 74. Hit enter. Then over on the left hand side, as we said in class, there's the math convert to fraction. Hit enter and there it is. So we know it's simplified. Now also to check and make sure we're right, we can store that value. Notice over on the bottom left, we can store that as X or any other letter of the alphabet that you would want to use. We will then enter the left hand side of this equation. Let's do that. Don't make a typo. 3 fourths parentheses 1 half minus 3x use the original equation. Close your parentheses and hit enter. Now if this value of x is correct we should get the same thing when we type in the right hand side. So 5 sixths x minus 3. Look at that! Same numbers, same decimals all the way down the line. We would know that our value of x is correct and we would feel 100% comfortable making that our final answer on a quiz or a test. Please in this problem do not forget to get rid of the parentheses and distribute first. Second problem and final problem of this tutorial. It's up on the screen. Ooh, we've got the radicals, the square roots, and fractions. Again, I would encourage you to try this out. Hit pause and see if you're right. But we'll just proceed into this in this video. First thing I like to do is get rid of fractions. It makes the problem easier. So we're looking for the least common multiple of those denominators, 5, 3, and 4. Now if you're totally confused on what the number is you should multiply by, you could always just multiply those denominators together. 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 4 is 60, and in this problem, 60 is the least common multiple. Sometimes you'll find a smaller number that can be divided, but in this case, we're good. So we have to distribute. 60 divided by 5 is 12, so this will be 12 radical 8x. Plus, 60 divided by 3 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40. Equals, distribute, 60 times 1, that was pretty simple is 60. And then 60 divided by 4 is 15. Don't forget the minus sign. So it'll be minus 15 radical 98 x. The next thing we really should do, the next thing we need to do, is simplify the square roots. Remember to show work here. So we're looking for a perfect square that can divide the numbers in the square roots. 4 is a perfect square, and it divides 8. I'm just going to rewrite the rest of the equation. But then a perfect square that divides 98. Think about it for a few seconds here. Think you got it? If you don't, 98 is even. Try dividing 98 by 2. You get 49. And 49 is a perfect square. So now we'll simplify. Square root of 4 is just equal to 2. I'll replace it with a 2. Over on the right, radical 49 is just equal to 7. Notice I get rid of the square root when I take the square root. So 12 times 2 is 24. We get 24 radical 2x plus 40 equals 60, ooh, 15 times 7. Mental math is always good, but on a quiz or a test, it doesn't hurt to consult your calculator and make sure you don't make a typo. Again, I want to get the x's on the left, just because in this case, they will have a positive coefficient. So we add 105 radical 2x to both sides. And I'm just going to combine these in the same step this time. So 
I want to get the 40 off the left hand side and over on the right hand side. You leave the square root of 2x alone and you add the 24 and 105, which should be 129. On the other side, 60 minus 40 is just 20. Now we need to divide both sides of this expression, of this equation, by radical 2 and 129 in order to get the x by itself. And we get that x is equal to 20 divided by 129 radical 2. Be careful. We can't leave it in this form. We need to get that square root off the bottom. So we're going to multiply by radical 2 over radical 2. In the top, it'll just be 20 radical 2. In the bottom, radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. And then we're going to do 129 times 2. It's 258. Now when we go to simplify this, because we need to simplify it, take your calculator, but only put the numbers in that were outside of the square root. So I'm going to take my calculator here, and we're going to type in 20 divided by 258. And in the same step, I can just hit math, convert to fraction, hit enter, and it's 10 over 129. Some of you might have been watching that problem and saying, ah, I saw that a little earlier. That's really good. If you see it, great. If not, double check with your calculator. So here's what we're thinking x is equal to. We'll come back up to the start of the problem. I'll write that up at the top here. We got 10 square root of 2 over 129. It always helps to check your answer. Avoid silly mistakes or find silly mistakes. We have that typed in. I'm going to take the 10 square root of 2. Make sure to close your parentheses on the square root. For some of you with the TI-84 Super Edition or an Inspire, you just hit the right arrow key to get out of the square root. Divide it by 129, and we're going to store that as x. Hit Enter. Then we're going to type the left-hand side of this equation, square root of 8, close your parentheses, or get out of the square root, divided by 5 times x plus 2 thirds. Hit enter. Hopefully the right-hand side matches. So 1 minus the square root of 98, close your parentheses, divided by 4 times x. Enter. Look at that. They're exactly the same. We're 100% sure that our answer is correct, and we can be confident in knowing that we're right. Watch out for these kind of things. Watch for parentheses. Simplify fractions and simplify square roots. Thanks for watching.